Thank you for stopping by again in this YouTube channel. Today we want to talk about the uh, shear force and bending moment diagram uh, for this uh, simply supported beam carrying a uniformly distributed load. Uh, to start with, we are going to label this beam here to be A and this side B, the center C. So if this place will be our VA or you call it RA as the case may be. Now we are going to take moment at point A or any point of your choice to be equal to zero. So our clockwise turning moment should be equal to anti-clockwise turning moment. And in that case, this VB is going to cover a distance of five meter in this direction, that is in anti-clockwise direction to point A. So we have five VB to be equal to, this is a UDL and this UDL will cover a distance of what? From the center to point A. Remember, UDL acts at the center of the beam or at the center of the span where it's located. So for the fact that this is 20 kN per meter, remember we are talking about force. So to cancel this, meet, this meter, you are going to multiply with a meter. And that is why you have a 20 multiplied by 5 to cancel the meter so that it will be our normal kN. Then I said it will act at the center. So it's going to be from the center of this span to point A, which is what? Center is 5 over 2. Now, our VB is equal to um, 250 all over 5. So our VB is equal to um, 50 kN. Now, to get VA, we can start to take moment at VB. Or rather, we can say let upward force be equal to downward force. The upward force is here, uh, VA and the VB, whereas the downward force is the UDL. And the UDL is a 2 multiplied by 5. I've explained why, why we're multiplying with 5. So it's not a new thing to us. Our VB is already known to be 50. So we have VA plus 50 is equal to 20 multiplied by 5 is 100. Therefore, our VA is equal to 100 minus 50, which is equal to 50 kN. Whenever you have a UDL like this, once you have your first reaction, just know that the other one uh, is the same thing uh, with the one you've gotten. That is to say, uh, it's the same thing as WL over 2. It's actually the formula whenever you have a UDL. Uh, remember, well, talking about shear force and bending moment diagram. So for us to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram, let's quickly do the analysis. So let's assume we'll cut this beam here. If we'll cut it here, then let's redraw it for clarity purpose. If you watched our previous video, you will really understand all these things. And if you haven't watched it, kindly check this channel, you will see where we solved the problem on bending moment and shear force. So the distance from here to here is x. Uh, we don't know it. Now we have the moment and we have the shear force. So the moment m alpha is equal to. We will take a moment here. This particular moment is moving in a clockwise direction, but this one will move in a clockwise direction. So it's going to be 50 copying a distance of what x. Then this UDL uh, will move in a clockwise also. Therefore, you're going to have minus. Remember, this is 20 kN a meter. So you have 20 um, multiplied by x, multiplied by x again over 2. But let me use x squared over 2. The same thing that we did here. So we have uh, m alpha is equal to, we have 50x, then minus. This will cancel this, we have 10x squared. This is the bending moment expression. But then there's a need that you determine where the maximum bending moment is going to occur. So for you to determine the maximum bending moment or where the maximum bending moment is going to occur, you are going to differentiate this. So you have dm alpha all over dx will be equal to, when you differentiate this, you have 50, then minus. Differentiating this, this two multiply, then you have 20x. So the 
moment will be maximum at the m alpha all over the x equal to zero. That is when you equate everything here to be zero. That is where it will be maximum. So you have that uh, x is equal to 50 over 20. Therefore, x is equal to 2.5. So the moment will be maximum at x equals to 2.5. Now, let's analyze that. M alpha will be equal to, it will be maximum at x equals to 2.5. So we have 50 into 2.5 minus 10 into 2.5 square. Therefore, our M alpha is equal to 62.5 kilonewton meter if you don't want to go through this process you can just get your expression then use formula um you can use uh, w l squared over 8 if you use that you still get 62.5 kilonewton meter again let's determine the moment at x equal to zero using the expression we have 50 then we have zero minus 10 into 0 so m alpha at x equals to 0 is equal to 0 what about the shear force now now listen 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 very attentively when you talk about shear force if you differentiate bending moment expression you have shear force expression so our shear force is nothing but this 15 minus 20x. Now, let's still explain it. We have um, we have V alpha to be equal to, where are the vertical forces? This is the vertical force, which is 50 kN is moving up. So it's moving up. Then this UDL is coming down. So it's going to be minus 20x. I've explained that here, why we need to multiply with the x. So you see that it's actually the same thing with the derivative of a bending moment so you're going to check the shear force when x is equal to zero which is equal to 50 kilonewton and also you check it at x is equal to 2.5 remember we're checking at 2.5 because our bending moment is maximum at that particular point therefore shear force is, is expected to be zero Shear force is zero where bending moment is maximum and the vice versa. So uh, you, you have uh, equal to 50 minus 20 into 2.5. So our V alpha at x equals to 2.5 is equal to zero. If you still check V alpha at uh, x equals to 5, you are going to have a uh, uh, minus 50 so that when you plus the vertical direction at point B, it will now go back to zero kilonewton. So let's quickly draw the uh, BMD diagram and the SF, the, that is the shear force diagram. So for the SFD, uh, we have our horizontal line. Then at this particular point, that is at V alpha equal to zero uh, we got 50 that time so it's going to go up to point where you have 50 then at the center that is 2.5 we said it's zero and uh, at the entire span that is at x equals to 5 we saw we got um, minus 50 uh, let's join that we'll join that then we said that this particular support reaction will return it back to zero. So I uh, will have a positive and we have a negative. Here is 50 kilonewton and here is 50 kilonewton. You should. So that's all about SFD. Then for the BMD, for the BMD, you have your um, horizontal line as usual. Now, this is going to go like a semicircle because we're talking about uh, UDL unlike point load where it went as a triangle so we're going to locate the maximum point which occur at 2.5 and um, that is this point this point will have a 62.5 kilonewton meter so this is where it is you can now join 
So that is all about the shell force abending moment diagram. If you found this video helpful, please kindly click the subscription button and uh, turn on the notification so that whenever we drop a video, you will be notified.